now with all winter no haircut edition. Oh yeah, and animals. More animals. We have a snapping turtle here. Been watching him all winter because my dad brought him home. And I'm, I'm gonna, gonna feed him this mealworm. Here you go, buddy. If he's interested. He should be. Oh, he's moving. There he is. Oh. Oh. Oh, man. Eat it. Come on, snapping turtle. The worm's like, what? <laughs> there we go. Oh, yeah. Eat the... Eat the... Who's a happy turtle? Who needs a clean bucket again? I just did that two days ago. Oh, there's a turtle. He's just like, hey, I've got some food. Yeah. <laughs> Well, there he goes. As far as other animals, we have... The Frog Terrarium. <laughs> froggy. Hi, Froggy. These are the same frogs we have in our pond. For the most part. Yeah, there's bigger ones in the water now, actually. Let's go look at those. I probably had my finger over the mic the entire time. Nice. There's bigger frogs. Hi, Froggy. Froggy. Oh, they're both together. Yeah. There's the other one down there. Hopefully I didn't cover the microphone the entire time. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Worms. Basement. Look at this, it's a barrel of laptops. <laughs> netbooks. <laughs> lots of netbooks, lots of little HP netbooks. This will be a barrel of fun. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Hey folks, today we have another Grateful 42 video with a Yay. change of scenery. We're in my house this time. For once. With my <laughs> with my mountain of boxes, so it's my mess instead of his. <laughs> my room's pretty messy right now, to be, to be frankly honest. This would be an improvement over my room. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Anyhow, we have the, his uh, Radeon HD bag of screws. <laughs> 6970. Uh, some grease. Greasy. No, I need to do the, the Trailer Park Boys. Greasy! <laughs> <laughs> Alcohol swabs. And a screwdriver. Yeah, Why screwdriver. not? Yeah. What we're going to be doing is... What are you explain? Some TLC. This thing basically ran non-stop since I bought it. And... Is this the card where the label peeled off because it got so hot? Yes. Uh, yeah, I remember that. This card was baked for probably a good four years. So I'm going to give it some TLC. I.e., we're going to replace the grease on it. Replace the grease, probably clean the stuff in it. I don't know how we're going to make this... I don't know how we're going to make this entertaining, but we're going to try. We can try. <laughs> Commentary makes everything amazing. Of course it does. I'm just glad I still have the box. Yeah, Vision Tech. There you go. It's practically a reference card, I think. Yeah, it see, is. the label's just gone The now. label's just gone. <laughs> Still has the V on the fan, but has a reference that, cooler on it. I think. Yeah. And we're gonna do some work. So all we have to do is uh, unscrew the heatsink and yep. put some new grease on it. Yep. It's exciting. It's fun. <laughs> Let's get to it. Let's do it. Okay, we have relieved the graphics card of its gigantic heatsink, and look at all the crap on the RAM. Is all like nasty and destroyed. The thermal pads got obliterated. I don't think the RAM really needs it though. Because mm -hmm. on my 8800 GT, I didn't put stuff on the RAM and it was fine. So okay. These yeah, VRMs, was... though, they probably need it. They need it, and it got so dusty. Yeah, it did. But we can... I don't know. Maybe we can just use thermal paste on those or something. Yeah, we'll try. See what happens. That paste is dry. Very dry. So... The stock paste on these is just not good, so we'll wipe that off. See, it's really dry. Like, you might have to, like, scrape it off. It is so dry, but alcohol does wonders. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, it's coming right off. I also have stronger stuff if you need to get the grease off. Ooh, look at that shiny thing. There you go. That's what an AMD GPU looks like once it focuses. Screw it. It's shiny. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. 
That's really cool though. There you go. That is a raw GPU right there. Now I just need to clean off the heatsink. Yeah. So we'll get back to you later. All right, and we're back. I bought an aftermarket cooler for the graphics card. It's gonna, it's gonna slot right in. We might need to drill some holes, but it, it'll, it'll, it'll work in, it'll work in the end. We'll, we'll make it work. <laughs> All right, we took this thing outside and blew it out with the vacuum. So it is, the heat sink is actually clean now, on the inside of it. So I think we're just gonna not worry about the thermal pads because of the hole. Well, I can't worry about them because I can't replace them right now. Yeah, we don't really have any on hand, so we're just going to stick it on there and see if it works. <laughs> so, I'm going to troll a friend. Hold on. Oh, no. Snapchat. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Putting a new heatsink on a graphics card. <laughs> All right. Put some Arctic Silver 5. Yeah. Yeah. Onto the uh, GPU, so... Oh yeah, look at that dot. That dot of grease. Mm. So that's taken care of. Yeah. Now we just need to put that back on and let the heat sink press that down for a uh, uh, for a good spread. Yeah. All right, here goes nothing. All right. Oh, shit, the fan. This is going to be silly. Yeah, let me plug the fan in there for you. This is why it's a two-person job. <laughs> this is why it's good to have two people. Yes. There we go. Now just turn on its back and screw everything back in, and you're good to go. Once everything's screwed down, it'll spread just fine. I'll get the uh, washers here. Yeah. I think I like the tiny screwdriver better. I still have those somewhere. Yeah. Does that yeah, fit? We'll see. It fits. It's just bulky. Here's the tiny screwdriver for you said. Yeah. Radio Shack micro screwdrivers, gotta have them. Except that you can't buy them anymore because Radio Shack's gone. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, we'll come back after this because I'm sure you don't want to watch Graven 42 screw all day. All right, and everything is screwed back together and the card is all good to go. So now all we need to do is put it in the computer and see if the temps are okay. Yeah. So I'm beeping. You're beeping. You have technology. So, I have technology coursing through my veins. Ah. Okay. <laughs> Biotechnology. <laughs> You're being controlled. Illuminati confirmed. <laughs> I don't like triangles. <laughs> anyway. So, after all those graphics things, we went through this bucket of netbooks you saw from the crappy cell phone video at the beginning of the uh, video. And we found... <laughs> One, we got one, two, three, four, five good ones, uh, seven good seven ones. Seven good ones, and... Five are going to me, and... Four bad ones. And two are going to... And, uh, we got... Four bad ones. With bad keyboards, cracked screens, things like that. So, we managed to salvage pretty good. We also have a battery, just sitting there. <laughs> Spare battery. Yay. So, what we're going to do is now work on laptops for we're gonna get one for his mom set up and then get his set up so Yay. stay tuned okay I got a bunch of bad keyboards out of this so <laughs> damn it okay so we've done some work on some laptops these are the five laptops that I'm gonna be keeping and I've done absolutely nothing to them so far yeah <laughs> Well, the parts. Yeah, parts we got out of them. We got a couple of 1 gig sticks, a couple of 512 sticks, four 160 gig Fujitsu hard drives. Um, not a whole lot else, but these are the computers that uh, we set up. This one's for 
Grateful 42 himself. This one's for his mom. So let's look at Grateful 42's first. Yay. So let's turn it on. Take a look. What we decided to do is stick Linux on it because it'll just run well on a, an N270 system like this. I made a video on one of these laptops years ago. and When I first got my hands on a few of them. <laughs> yep. The, now that the rest have been pretty much liquidated, we get to see them again. So, fun stuff. Put Ubuntu Mate on there. Since that's what ran well on stuff like this back in the day. Uh, Better enter that password. I will enter all the things. You can stare at the pile of laptops while he enters the password. Now you don't have to do that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, it takes a little bit to load. But it doesn't use up a whole lot of hard drive doing it. It's mostly RAM. And there you go. I put uh, Skype and TeamSpeak on there for them. And it's just your basic Linux install. Nothing too exciting. It works pretty well. Wireless works. Bluetooth works. It all works. So we got a good laptop out of that. This has a 1 gig stick in it. Hopefully we can get a 2 gig in here at some point to make it a little bit more usable. Yeah. Especially when browsing the internet. 1 mm -hmm. gig just... Bleh. <laughs> Them browsers like their RAM. Yeah, they do. <laughs> so that's his machine. It's just a basic Linux install. It's nothing that exciting. So here's the one for his mother. Yeah. Turn that one on. This one we went a completely different route. We decided to install Windows XP on it. Now, some of you are asking, but Windows XP is dead. Why are you doing that? If she goes <laughs> online, it will kill the computer. And it's old. And you shouldn't be using it because it's old. But luckily, this computer will never touch the Internet. It will never touch the Internet. She doesn't want to use the Internet. So At least not on this computer. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> what, is she one of those? It's like the Internet will kill everything? No, she just doesn't want to use it. Oh, okay. So... Grateful 42 changed the background to look like Windows 98. <laughs> <laughs> That's about the last time she's used a computer. <laughs> and we put... I should probably get rid of those shortcuts on the desktop so it's less confusing. Bloop. Super anti-spyware is on there. Just because. Yes, confirm that. And we put LibreOffice 4.4 on there. So... All she's basically going to do is word processing. Yep. And that's it. Nothing else. So. She has flash drives and stuff, doesn't she? Then how's she going to move files? From what? From this. To what? I don't know, to like computers at the library to print. Whatever. Not my department. <laughs> <laughs> so. I guess there's that. Well, I guess we can worry about all that later, but for now, the computer works. She can write things on it. So you look at me. I'm writing things. I like that lag. That happens when you first start leaving <laughs> office. <laughs> it normally doesn't do that, luckily. So Yeah. Pretty simplified machine. So It also has one gig of RAM, so it'll be yep. good for that. A gig of RAM on XP is pretty darn good, too. So... So this computer is so a, bu a bunch of these computers are saved from the landfill, thankfully. Yep. That's probably where they would have gone if we hadn't got a hold of them. Yeah, they were all going into the trash if I didn't go pick them up. Yep. So luckily, computer nerds are in the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> so, we, so we managed to save about seven of them here, while four of them went into the bucket of doom. I don't know if you can see that in there, but <laughs> yeah. Fun was had. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway. This is what we do with stuff that's broken sometimes. Sometimes you just have to get the anger out. You gotta break it more, man. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So. There you have it. That is these five laptops. Or five laptops. The two ones that are going back. And. 
No, you'll have fun with the ones you picked out. <laughs> yeah, I've, we've been talking about maybe running a, cl- a Linux cluster with all five of these. <laughs> That'd be hilarious to try. I don't know if I'll actually do that, but it's, <laughs> but it's on my mind. <laughs> oh yeah, and I'm giving Great for 42 a keyboard. Yes. Because gaming keyboards. <laughs> keyboards. Keyboards. Alright, well, not much Peace. else we can say in this video. Bye.